he's not strong at all, but I'm gonna ally him. I want him to be safe to spread Judaism. We need allies where we can get him. Okay, he accepted the alliance. What's this? Uh-oh. Uh Ooh, attracted. That's not good. Don't forget you have trade posts on that small island to the north of your capital. That is true. I have got one right here. Because uh, I want to use that to boost the value of the trade zone a little bit. Uh, even if that actual county is pretty impoverished. Dissatisfaction with your choice of advisor. Um. What, you want a new person as a marshal? No. Fuck off. Shut up. <laughs> I make my own choices. Any prisoners we can sell? Probably. Uh, good idea. You can seize a fifth of a gold off that person. I can seize a little from that person. I think they were trying to murder me once. Yeah, banish them. And ransom three people for 30 bucks. Whatever, it cleans out the prison. Wait, isn't... No, this guy counts as a ruler. Yeah, okay. Good. Because I don't want to ransom... I don't want to ransom this guy. But he counts as a ruler, so... I want him fucking dead so I can get some of my money back for campaign funds. Because seriously, he's a problem. Okay. What is this? Uh, spying? Oh, he killed my spy master. Byzantine's getting mad about my spy master again. Uh, let's get a new one. This guy's incredibly talented. Holy shit. Take this guy. Use commands to rename it to Justonia. No. <laughs> Although that is hilarious. I will give you credit. I might actually be more technologically advanced in most ways than, uh... I am in most ways. I, it can bring up my popular customs a bit, and some of my military stuff a little bit, but honestly I might stop studying tech soon. Separated wards done, hell yeah. What is disease resistance like in our place now? Even though the population is booming, we have disease resistance at 20%, which is really good. Yet a better one? You saw one of those 25? Oh, I must have forgot to hit the button. Oh, he's paranoid. I don't want him. He won't work as much. Uh, okay, hospital upgrade is our next priority. I want... <sighs> wow, these are good. Okay, I need about 700 bucks. Okay. Holy Roman Empire and Byzantine Empire stopped their war. Byzantine... Or Holy Roman one. Um, yeah. Medical Academy. Tech points on everything. That's incredible. Oh, he's calling me in. Uh, who is declaring on you? Sweden. No, a guy within Sweden. No, it's Sweden. Uh... Shouldn't have made that alliance. I'm declining. I'm a truce breaker. Sorry. Alliance Breaker, general opinion down massively for 10 years. I hate doing that, but you know what? I thought that I'd be a deterrent force enough that they wouldn't declare war on Estonia. All right, that was a bad move on my part. That was irresponsible. And I just inherited some tribes again. I don't want these. Uh, yeah, I don't want these. Hey, steward. Actually, my chancellor doesn't have any land, does he? No. No, he doesn't. And he has been good to me. Republic of Pest, it's yours. Have it. <laughs> yeah, Sweden called your bluff. Yeah, they did. Sorry, Estonia, you're doomed now. S sorry. <laughs> I converted you, though. At least the population's different religion, although when they get conquered, they'll probably just convert back after not too long. It's pretty easy to convert the population from Jewish. Mustering ground done and stables done. Uh, I gotta... Oh, I don't need to save up money now, actually. Um, I have enough now. I, I'm not used to getting money this fast. Uh, get... Yeah. 
get that academy building. That's so good. And once the academy is done, we can get the observatory to get more uh, cultural and military points. Which, I wish it was economic. Economic is the best, but it's still good. God. Hospital upgrades are great. If I buy CK2, I'll probably make a new empire in Ireland. Holy Leprechaun uh, Empire. Have fun with that. Uh, what is this? Is Donner supposed to be beaten? I want just. Yeah. Nah, I didn't get it. I did have to fire my marshal, though. This guy is pretty talented. Give it to him. Do an India Let's Play? I probably will someday. Uh, India seems like a fun country to play. Well, a fun region of the world. Obviously, it's not one country at this point in history. Then, Indian culture is very fascinating to me. Hey, this guy's worth a lot of money. Who are you? Random Cortair, who's a genius. Yes, I will banish you and seize a hundred bucks. Hell yeah. Okay, well, now that we just made some money, uh, let's keep some upgrades going. Get a fort there. And maybe upgrade the garrisons? But I should also be getting city upgrades. Yeah, I do need to upgrade this castle more because we do seriously need as many troops as we can get there. Okay, that guild hall's about to finish and I want to upgrade the port after, so let's save up. Uh, da, 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 I got to meet her alone. It'll never happen. Not gonna be awful. It's not happening. You know, Grand University is uh, not too far off. 64% done. Not bad. Engage him in a theological debate. Ah! He wants me to join this vile heresy. No! I will convert him! Compensation. He didn't pay. Okay, city guild hall. Beautiful. And port upgrade. Keep that money rolling in. Uh, how great is Bohemia now compared to how much when you left? I bet they've barely done anything to it. It's okay. I mean, when I left it, it wasn't feudal, obviously. The comparison's not great, but... I'll put it this way. Most of these level 2 things are because I had level 4 things there, and that's what the conversion does. So, really, uh, they haven't worked on it in probably 200 years. People creating duchies, okay. Society rank up? Hell yeah, I'll get some learning out of it. Yes. Okay, keep upgrading this place. Um, hmm. I do want a big garrison size there so it can hold out long enough for me to get over there. So get a garrison started on it. And then we'll have enough money by the time that's done that we can do the other stronger type of garrison upgrade. Long live Bohemia. Thanks for the resub there. We do need to get Bohemia back. Because Prague is just... It's good. But it could be incredible. So much potential. Become an adept. Nice. Our learning is 24. We are a certified genius. You're leading an army in Pest? What? Why do I have troops right there? I didn't even know they were there. Huh. Weird. Okay. Send them to go defend the capital then. Okay. Oh right, we're not upgrading anything in our, our mansion right now. I totally forgot about that. God, I haven't been doing that in a while. That sucks. That's okay, that's our next priority then. What is this? Uh Flesh is weak. Forget and forget. Acquire ingredients? Hell yeah. Herbs in the hills. It's safe. Do it. Frog's not that powerful now that the more merchant republic. Has no sea access, therefore no trade buildings. It's still pretty powerful because there's um, seven slots for buildings. 
Uh, so having a counselor on it, any bonus you get would apply to all of them, which is ridiculously powerful. What we need actually is more building slots in Stettin. Unfortunately, uh, we haven't been getting very lucky on getting the ability to purchase that. Although the price is always like two years worth of money, so you'd need to have a lot saved up. It's amazing that with one upgrade in the port of uh, Jaffa, it's worth as much as the port in Stenton. I know, right? It's ridiculous. Tech points, beautiful. And uh, daughter, education and learning. Is there an undisputed highest potential county in this game? No, but there are certain ones that are just incredible. Um, Paris and Prague are two of the best. Uh, Rome is probably one of the best. Uh, Baghdad. Baghdad's along the Silk Road and has all seven slots, which is incredibly powerful. Does anybody know if there's a seven slot one that is on the coast and on the Silk Road? Because that would probably be the best one. London? Mm. London is coastal, which is really powerful, but it's not on a trade route, and it only has six slots instead of seven. And again, you can make more slots, but it's random based on a lot of factors, and you need to pay serious money for it. So it's generally a strong advantage to have it already good. Ask for help those around me. We're making another theorem paper. I also wouldn't mind making a book soon, because we are a really good leader, and I'd make to, like to make a learning-based book. And it takes like 10 years to make one. Four herbal ingredients. Nice! We can make potions if we need to. Good. Wife's pregnant. Awesome. How old is she? 32. Okay, makes sense. And we are 50. Mech Academy done. Beautiful. I'll have to save up. Ah, pharmacology lab. Yeah. Which is not amazing. Alexandria's in Silk Road and has seven slots. Jaffa has six, but you can get another through an event. Yeah, you can get another through an event with any county in the game. It's just difficult and expensive. Um, Alexandria is probably a serious contender for best county in the game, then. If it's got seven slots, it's on a Silk Road, and it's coastal, isn't it? Uh, it should be right around here. Uh, Alexandria is right here. It has all seven slots. It's Silk Road and it's coastal. Yeah, coast of Egypt. That is a serious contender for best in the game. Yeah, that's a pretty strong contender right there. That might be it. Thanks for following uh, Warsmith Craig. Craigar? Craigar. I like that name. Welcome to Flock. Hope you enjoy the stream. Garrison built. Nice. Upgrade it right away. Tempting. Get the small mercenary garrison. Yeah. And we're going to need some backup. That's actually a large group there. And although their troop quality is lower than ours, I don't want to go wasting a ton of money. God, our commanders are balls. Is that really the best we have? Uh, yes, it is. Jesus. Does your air have the stressed trait? No. God, I don't want a river crossing on that. He's gonna raid that forever, and if I walk away, he'll just walk to my capital. Actually, I could bait him into walking across, and then walk back, and might get a river crossing defense? Maybe. I can get another thousand troops there. Do it. Uh, they voted for absolute rule due to not returning a favor. That's fine. They don't get a vote anyway. Speaking of vote, um, get more burger tax is tempting. I can centralize more though. Yeah, centralize more because I'm not worried about my vassal limit. Uh, I can always just 
divvy out more land. Uh, whereas, oh, but marginal status of women. I do want to start getting that up because although marginal status is pretty lame, uh, once you get up past that, it starts to get quite a bit stronger. Ooh. Um, this would bring me really close to my vassal limit, but again, um, I can just divvy up the lands more, create more kingdoms and stuff. Uh, this would get me one more domain limit, and I wouldn't mind personally owning another castle. Tempting. You know what? Marginal status women first. There we go. Women can become spy masters now. None of them are as good as my fucking master spy master, but you know, maybe later. Is he gonna walk over? No. Uh, da, 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 sway him based on learning, yes, because our learning is incredible. Try to learn as much as possible, yes. Oh, nope, that's river crossing too. How about from here? River crossings are a real bitch. <laughs> It's not easy to tell where they are in this game. There's a little tooltip on each county that tells you, but it's not very organized. Ooh. Decide to be assertive and I will gain diligent, which is really strong, but I'll probably piss him off. Let the other word have... Uh, fuck it, I'm becoming diligent. Diligent's really strong. New churches, but if they need it, might really drop another. No. Uh, I'll drop a hundred on them. Somehow Estonia is still alive, by the way. Yeah, they're still at war with Sweden. Learned a lot from this discussion. Nice. I thought I was gonna piss him off. Okay, he appreciated the money. Cool. And I captured this fucker who looks just like that other guy, but he isn't. Can't even ransom him for 10 bucks, he sucks so bad. Offer to buy a new one, fussy. Happens all the time. Ah, oh, god, they raided that place so bad. It's gonna take forever to get that money back. Get a fort there again. God. Sucks. Oh, we own too much land again? Because we inherited that tribe. I don't want it. There, give it away. You're not in the Discord, go to the Discord. Everyone's really friendly. It's linked in the description of like all my videos and Twitch and stuff. Okay, how are we doing on uh, that? Oh, not even close, right, because I just started. Oh, what is my theorem paper? Yes, send out the theorem paper. I've got super high learning, it'll be fine. Uh, I need to save up for the pharmacology lab so that I can get the observatory, because, again, tech is such a high priority to me. Look at our crazy tech rate. This is awesome. Speeding up so much. Such a powerful tech rate. Good, people are liking the theorem paper. We got three for us so far, four for us. We got five! Last time we only got four. Do you have Twitch commands activated? I don't know what you mean, sorry. Twitch doesn't have built-in commands. You're probably talking about some bot that is probably popular. If so, I don't really have like any bot commands in the chat, I don't think. Okay, we can invest in cultural advancements. Tolerance level up wouldn't be bad. Again, getting rid of some of the penalty for culture and religion. That'd let us get a higher status of women once we can change law again. Yeah, we don't we don't have those things. Uh, March. That's like some bot. Um. You've had bad experience on the Discord groups, drama, and people taking pa Yeah, my community isn't like that. Like, I'll put it this way: Is everybody in the chat an asshole on the Twitch streams? If you think the answer is no, that means that the Discord isn't full of assholes. We're not like the kind of Discord server that has like power-hungry mods and stuff. Like, the few mods I've ever had that, like, I felt like antagonized the chat, I purged them. Uh, I- the- the Discord is not for me, and it is not for the mods. 
it is for the community. Like, if someone were to get banned, for instance, like, first of all, I have very relaxed rules, and if someone were to get banned and people disagree with it, I put it to a public vote. And if they vote to have them back, and it's against my rules, that means I need to rewrite my rules, because it's not for me, it's for you. So, there you go. Uh, I would really like to have my majesty go up. I'm willing to drop that, that, uh, those points. Oh, what is this? Uh, dedicated to the Hermetic Society performing missions, tasks, and interests. Say all the efforts are rewarded. I've become the new, uh, the new Mag, uh, Magus. Holy shit, isn't that the highest rank? I was just crowned the highest rank. That's plus three learning. Wow. Huh. Oh, let's choose our arts. Alchemy should be my priority, which is I gain Mystic. Uh, I, I could gain Theologian, or I can gain Esoteric Knowledge. Oh. But it costs more than it's gonna be- uh, that sucks. So you just get to pick if you're a Scholar or a Mystic, or- I'm already a Scholar, though. <laughs> Three learning, and then Mystic is Stewardship and learning, though. I actually like the Stewardship. And then Theologian is learning and intrigue. I want Mystic, because Stewardship. Hell yeah, Alchemy. That was actually worth it. Ah, we got a kid! First name I see in the chat is Black Skull Dragon. You are our new son. You are a giant. I have never seen that trait before. Oh my god, you're a giant. Okay. This character was born a giant. While imposing, this character suffers from significant health problems and is likely to die young. Your fertility is down a lot. Your health is actually only down a tiny bit. Personal combat skill up. Vassal opinion up. Tribal opinion up. That's actually not very useful. Giant is kind of a crap trait by the looks of it. Huh. Well, that's, uh, I thought that was going to be way cooler. I thought you'd have like martial skill or something. Huh. Well. I mean, it's cool, but it's not very good. I consider that more negative than positive, in fact. Hold a grand debate. Right, because we're hermetic society. Um, had to drop money for that? Eh, not interested. I don't even know who that kid is. I'll ransom him. Hey, esoteric knowledge. And learning, because we published the paper. Right. We have a learning of 24 again. That is insanely good. I should give you like 10 martial skill. In fairness, martial skill is your ability to lead troops more than anything. So I guess it makes sense that being a giant doesn't necessarily make you better at leading troops. Flesh is weak. It makes sense. It's just not as interesting. Castle infrastructure up would give me training grounds and barracks. Tempting. I really want the next level of city and temples. It's pretty far off, though. Your troop can see better, so you can lead. Ah, uh, it's true. You have a better vantage point because you're so tall. It would be funny if they actually gave you a couple points and that was the reasoning. All right, drop some money on uh, upgrading the mustering ground. Got to keep those troops coming in. <sighs> it's ideal if you want to order follow the big guy. Yeah, you, you never lose track of your, your commander. Although you need to pay extra money for armor because there's no one size fits all when you're that big, you know? Oh, let's, uh, let's wait until this stable finishes real quick. I don't want to go forgetting this. There we go. Oh man, is that really the last thing I have the tech for there? No. Okay, just didn't update. Gotta keep going. Alright. I think we're about ready to end it for this episode then. I gotta get back to work on my big Pokemon challenge where I'm beaten. Uh, I'll just tell you now uh, what it is because I've been hinting at it so much on Twitter. I am going to see if I can beat all of Pokemon Crystal with a team of one Sunkern, which is the lowest stats Pokemon in any Pokemon game. Uh, I won't tell you if I managed to pull it off or not, because that would spoil the video. But I hope you enjoy that video when it comes out, which will probably be later this week. Might even be tomorrow if the editing goes really well tonight, but I wouldn't bank on it. I'm going to say by Wednesday. Uh, and I, I did that Rattata. Uh, thing right I tried to beat all of Pokemon blue with one Rattata uh, the other week I think those Pokemon videos have a lot of potential if they spread around enough that's the thing so 
hey, if any of you guys, uh, if any of you guys like that stuff, spread it around with your friends. I'd appreciate it because uh, it could be really, really big for my channel and thus really big for my income. And thus I can reinvest it in the channel. Thank you everybody so much for watching and until next time, have a nice day.